Hello and welcome. This reading is for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, welcome to my channel. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition reading messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this then it may resonate with you so let's begin if you're wearing headphones please lower the volume I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Pisces, let's get right into it. Let's see. Who is the person that is connected to Pisces in love? And Pisces, what is your energy towards this person? And what is the connective energy between you and your love interest? Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to a person that's connected to Pisces and love? Thank you, Spirit. Well, we have here a wheel of fortune. It's in reverse. So, uh, you know, your person is going through some bad luck right now, bad karma. Possibly uh, they know that they need to end a karmic situation. And I see here the high priestess. Um, I really feel like your person is very spiritual in nature and they're tapping into their higher self, possibly using their intuition, knowing that they have to end a cycle with a karmic situation before they can open up towards you. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I really feel that your person is feeling the uh, intuitive hit to release a situation that is no longer serving them. Also, I see here ten of cups in reverse. So this tells me that your person isn't happy. Your person is possibly as unhappy as because uh, they know that they had a missed uh, opportunity to have a beautiful, loving relationship with you, Pisces. That's what I'm hearing. And they're actually feeling this through their gut. Okay. Um, that it's time to let go of a situation. Okay. Because it's not really serving them for their highest and greatest good. Okay. Also, I see here the Ace of Pentacles. I feel that your person is wanting to ground something into the physical in the 3D. So they could be uh, focused on their career, their finances, something stable. Perhaps your person has been working on this in the past year to release a, a karmic situation or uh, a person that they're in a relationship with. Okay, and really contemplating what is their next steps. So I feel like uh, your person is putting in the groundwork. Now, for some, you're dealing with an earth sign. Okay, could be earth, could be water, is what I'm seeing here so far. Let's see what else. <clears throat> now, with you, we have the lovers in reverse. So, Pisces, you're actually feeling that. You know, you were possibly not the chosen one. Maybe um, you're feeling like, you know, maybe this relationship will never come into fruition. You know, maybe your beliefs and your person's beliefs are two different things. And you guys can't seem uh, to uh, really get uh, the timing aspect together so that you guys can come into a physical union. Also, I see here a page of pentacles. You know, I see that you really want to offer some kind of a message towards your lover over here. You know, but your ego or, or pride is in the way. But, you know, still, you know, you, you definitely want to um, communicate uh, to your person 
that you're not feeling the love. You feel really disconnected. You don't know where you stand. I, I really feel like you want to have a heart to heart conversation or discussion with your person. You know, I really feel that uh, whoever you're dealing with, they're actually in another commitment or uh, trying to get over on their emotions. Maybe they have a hard time of expressing their feelings towards you and you're very emotional Pisces and you just want to know. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Oh, wow. We have here Eight of Wands in Reverse. So there's no communication. You're holding yourself back from contacting your person. So this is what I'm feeling. You're very intuitive also, Pisces, and you're very emotional, very empathetic. More than anything, you want to open up communication. You want to know, you know, how does your person really feel towards you? Have they progressed? Have they moved on from a karmic relationship? You know, so that you guys can get something off the ground. However, you're holding yourself back from reaching out to communicate to this person now if you're in a twin flame connection I really feel like you don't want to chase this person anymore your hopes wishes and dreams and desires is for your person to do that towards you not you do that towards them now I see that you know it, you know with their higher self they could be communicating to you so you both could be feeling each other in a 5d sense because I feel that very strongly more than a 3D physical conversation that you're actually having with your, your love interest over here. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So let's see what else. Spirit, what is the connective energy between Pisces and their lover? What is the connective energy, please, Spirit? One more card, please, Spirit. Wow. So, wow. Okay, so for the both of you, I see here the Five of Cups. And I see here the Ten of Wands with the Hermit. Okay. So, what I'm getting with this is that, uh, you know, both of you guys are accepting how things are in the current situation. Okay, so presently, I feel like both you guys aren't really happy that uh, you are not together. Uh, either one or both of you are feeling really burdened and um, it's kind of like a release, right? So I feel like you guys are in separation, uh, not really talking because I see here the hermit. And um, I feel like for, for the both of you, um, both of you guys are really blocked up in the heart. Uh, and possibly thinking more so in your head. What did I say? In the very beginning, I really felt like both you and your person were connecting with each other through the 5D. So instead of having a physical contact, a physical communication with words through text messaging or an actual conversation, this is more thoughts. Okay, so you guys are thinking uh, about conversating with one another, but keeping it to yourselves. Now, I see that maybe uh you're feeling hopeless maybe your person is too and um you know there has to be a level of healing from a past energy in order uh for either you or your person to move things forward because i see here the world so there will be a completion of a cycle so there has been an ending and i really feel like it's on your person's end because i see here the ten of cups Your person isn't happy with a, a family situation that they're currently in. Emotionally, they're not fulfilled and they understand that they have to release and let go of the situation. They're, they're feeling the intuitive hit, the guidance that they need to close out a karmic cycle before they can open up a new one towards you. And I really feel like uh, for the both of you, uh, you have an awareness or an understanding that that actually needs to take place in order for a physical, uh, a, a physical relationship. So let's see what else.
Strawberry, can you please reveal to me what is the overall energy of this person that's connected to Pisces? Are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What does your person want and what is the outcome? So your person is holding themselves back. Okay, so they, they did have the motivation to come forward, but you know, they're not quite ready yet. Uh, I see that they definitely want to uh, come together with you, maybe um, have a celebration, maybe spend uh, the holidays with you, okay? Uh, this could happen in a course between one to three months, okay? But, you know, the energy is present, but there's something about their situation that's really uh, holding them back, okay? Now, I see your person definitely does love you. You could receive an apology, Okay, like say, uh, hey babe, you know, I'm sorry it's taken me so long, you know, I I've been really thinking a lot about you, I'm sorry I haven't been communicating to you, I know that, um, you know, I I'm asking so much, you know, from you, but uh, I just, you know, just to let you know that, you know, I do care. Okay, but whatever that's going on in their physical reality, I feel like they're held back. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Now, you will receive some kind of a message from this person. It may not be uh, what you're looking for, Pisces, but at least it's something. Now, um, before I shuffled, okay, you actually have the Page of Pentacles in, in your energy. So you wanted uh, to reach out and communicate, but you held yourself back. Now, I see that your person is also in the same vibration. So I definitely feel that you are connected, um, you know, spiritually with this individual and both you guys really want to reach out and connect to each other in the physical okay now I see that uh, in their eye okay uh, things are a little bit clouded okay maybe they're holding back with their emotions they're repressing their feelings they also feel like you know maybe now is not the time to have a, a, a beautiful new beginning with you um, I feel like their intuition is blocked. There's something that they're definitely not seeing. Now, in a few days uh, of me recording this particular channeling, well, actually tomorrow, okay, we have the new moon in Scorpio. So there's definitely a moon cycle that is occurring with your individual. And during this moon cycle, I really feel like they're going to hold themselves back from offering you a new beginning. And possibly uh, before they act, they're going to reflect okay because I really feel like uh, something is really clouded uh, with your person's energy yeah because we have here the hermit so the hermit is showing up here again they need time to really think very deeply what it is that they want so they can communicate clearly their truth that they do want to invest into this relationship now for some it might have uh, been three years Okay, three years uh, where this person is just taking their time of really uh, wanting to, you know, give you something like a physical offer, right? That's what I'm getting here. And it's because they're dealing with a karmic. Now, the karmic has expectations on your person. Your person has been working on this materially to uh, possibly detach from this karmic. And I also see here, what is this, the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, so, um, you know, your individual feels as if, you know, they can't really offer much to you in this sense. You know, they definitely want to uh, get out of the separation, you know, between you and them. And I feel like it's been a while. I would say three to five years, guys, okay? And that's for a few of you. I'm definitely picking up on, on that timing. I feel like for, for someone that is watching this, it's been some time, you know, and possibly in the past three years, they've been making uh, promises that uh, they're going to get out of their karmic relationship, but uh, everything still seems the same, right? 
that's what I'm getting, Pisces. And uh, your person is is actually moving things forward, whether or not you see this or, or not. You know, uh, I see that you could be dealing with a fire sign over here. Okay, and they're trying to get out of their head about being stuck in this situation. You know, maybe they have fear. Maybe they don't have the strength to carry on with, uh, you know, their promises. I feel like your person is waiting for the right time. You know, I see here a lot of threes in this reading. It could be three days, three weeks, three months, three years, right? There's, uh, there's something significant with the number three. And yeah, I feel like they're just waiting for the right time to offer a sense of balance again. Maybe for some it's been six years, okay? Yeah, your person is healing. And uh, they had a hard time of making a choice um, because things weren't very clear. They're not really happy either. I really feel like it's because they might be dealing with a narcissistic karmic situation. Okay, and that's the hold up. Uh, so I really feel like your person is an awareness that they have to end some sort of karma with the karmic and they are working on it. Okay, but I really feel very soon, Pisces, okay, you will get contact or communication from your person. Is it going to be like, yes, I finally let go of the karmic? No. Okay, I don't see that it's that po at that point yet. However, slowly but surely, uh, your person is getting there, but at least you're going to get a conversation. That's what I'm seeing so far. So let's see. How are they thinking? So we have the chariot, the ace of swords, and the high priestess in reverse. So your person is really stable. Okay, maybe they receive some kind of balance or cooperation uh, about, you know, well, what are their intentions? Maybe your person wasn't clear. I feel like now they're very clear. However, they're keeping things a secret. Again, we have here the high priestess. It came up in reverse. Um, they just need a little bit of time. So in the underlying energy, I do see here the ace of wands in reverse. And again, in their thoughts, I see here the ace of swords in reverse. So they're not exactly clear, but very soon they will get to it. Okay. I feel like, uh, their, their thought process is a little bit muddied at, at this point. Okay. They just need a little bit of clarity on how they can move things forward. Now, how are they feeling? Again, wow, no, that's the wrong deck. Dang, I saw the Ace of Swords again. <laughs> so I see here the Nine of Wands, the Lovers, and the, the Ten of Wands in reverse. So your person uh, feels that it's time to release and let go of a situation. They do want to choose this connection towards you, Pisces. Okay, and they're actually getting out of being guarded. So if they actually blocked you or, you know, maybe they're a little bit defensive, they feel like now is the time to really uh, lower their defenses. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your energy. Spirit, what is the energy of the viewer at this moment? How do you currently think of your person? How do you feel? What is it that you want? And what is the outcome? Thank you, Spirit. So we have here nine of pentacles. So you're single and ready to mingle, right? <laughs> you know, what I'm feeling is that you're working on your independence. Uh, you're doing well for yourself. Um, you have your stuff together. I feel like financially you're doing very well. Um, however, uh, you've received the cold treatment from your lover over here. 
Okay, your person has been suppressing their emotions and um, you're just wondering. That's why in the very beginning of this channeling, I saw that, you know, you very much really want to communicate or contact your person. But, uh, you know, maybe because, you know, let's say you're in a twin flame connection, you've uh, chased after your person, you were the one who is always initiating contact and you, you really set your boundaries. You understand that your person may be in another commitment or a relationship and it's not your place to reach out and connect with them unless they want to connect with you so you know you're in a realization okay you have here the book of knowledge from what I can see and you're actually uh, getting these um, intuitive hits that you know it's time for your person to step up to the plate okay that's what I'm getting and uh, we also have here the two of wands and reverse so if you had a hard time of making a decision, I feel like, you know, you've come to the conclusion that you're not happy, okay? You're not happy with how long uh, the situation is taking uh, for your person to get out of a, a commitment um, that is not, you know, with you, right? Um, also, you might feel a little lack or a little bit depressed, Okay, Pisces. Now, for some of you, okay, uh, try not to uh, get the too uh, emotional and, and abuse like uh, substances or, you know, indulging into like chocolate or, you know, something that's not good for you, okay? Um, because I feel like uh, emotionally, your person is really tapped in into you and um, you're actually in a little funk, okay? I'm definitely picking up on that. Also, we have here the Queen of Swords in reverse uh maybe it's because there's a karmic um that is a manipulating your person your love interest over here for some maybe you cut off contact with your person you've became very cold towards your individual because your person no matter uh what they say okay because this is a repeat offender um they never seem to get off of their karmic relationship okay too much time has passed and so enough is enough right you're not happy with this because emotionally you still have feelings for this person but i see that you know in, in the present moment you're actually single or working on yourself working on your job or career and uh, focused on self rather than your person but in the back of your mind you're still feeling this attachment uh towards your individual but your person isn't really showing you the love Okay, yeah, you're trying to heal from it. You're trying to release, you know, this attachment to your feelings, you know, uh, trying to understand uh, what this connection is, is what I'm hearing. Um, also, yeah, you just feel like, you know, I, this is a waste of time. Uh, nothing has come into fruition for the past three years. It's the same story, different day, you know, and you feel like you don't want to work on it. <laughs> Dang, Pisces, really? You know, and I really feel like you do want reconciliation. So regardless of how you're feeling towards this person, your hopes and wishes is for your person to do the work. I saw that in the very beginning, guys, with the first three cards uh, on your energy. More than anything, you really want to connect with them, but you're just tired of doing all the work. You want your person to reciprocate. You know, um, if they've offered you empty promises, when are they going to step up to the plate, right? That's what I'm hearing. Let's see. Dang. You know, uh, right off the bat, okay, I see here uh, the Two of Cups with the five of wands and the empress now i really feel that um you know you want to grow into a, a connection but you don't want to do this with you know other people that is not in alignment with with your uh vision okay that's what i'm saying now you definitely want to have a relationship now whether or not it's your person you're conflicted why because there's a karmic energy that is still interfering in the connection so that's what you're thinking so far so how are you feeling we have here the magician with the world and the page of swords so you know you're making observations you really want to wrap up the cycle and you're you're definitely uh wanting to manifest you want this you know um so that's what i have so far pisces 
Now I'm going to take the rest into the extended and in the extended uh, I'm going to go over what your person is uh, actually uh, wanting to do or going to do and uh, also with your side and also what is the outcomes okay also I'm gonna pull some messages that your person would like to say and uh, a guidance message from spirit uh, to see you know what is the best way to handle uh, this current energy with your particular love interest so um, if you're interested you can go ahead and click on the description uh, box below uh, for the link for the extended now if you you are a member you can go to the membership section uh, to continue to uh, watch the extended video uh, if you're not a member already you can go ahead and join if you join this channel's membership then you get access to all the extended readings not just this particular one uh, so that you can get a lot more uh, with all the channelings that I have on my channel and uh, thank you all for all your comments likes, shares and subscribes if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you like to book a personal reading with me you can definitely visit me at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me on ig at scorpio moon intuition until then i hope to see you on the on the other side and i'll i'll see you later all right bye bye